Hi, this is Lisa, Paper Grace Designs for Fabric Castell Design Memory Crafts, and I'm making another video for you today using my pastel pencils. Now, this is something new to me because I'm not really good at coloring. <laughs> Mixed media is something I'm okay with, but coloring is actually something I'm not so great at. So, I'm going to be attempting to color for you today. So bear with me and you can learn along with me. Um, but these pastel pencils are really great because the color goes actually all the way through the board. I hope you can see these things because they are really, really fabulous. The color is really intense and they're super, super blendable. They're actually beautiful, beautiful pencils and uh, the colors are just amazing. Um, I did try out a, a, color, a, color, a card beforehand and um, I, I found them just beautiful. So I'm going to be using watercolor paper, paper I can't talk, watercolor paper um, to do this on just because I like the thickness of the paper. I'm sure you can do this on just about any cardstock that you want. I just wanted to do something a little bit um, thicker. So that's the paper that I'm choosing to work with today. Um, again, I'm sure you could use anything that you, ch that you choose, but because I'm using this, I just wanted to have something with a little bit more tooth to it, a little bit more substance, so I'm choosing to work on watercolor paper. So, um, also the stamp set that I'm using is from Technique Tuesday. It's called Poppy Sentiments, and um, I'm using this because it's just a couple days before Veterans Day, and I'm a veteran, so um, it's just a special stamp set to me. It's also designed by my friend Terry Anderson and I just think it's a great stamp set. So here we go. Let's get started. And I am going to be fast forwarding just a tiny bit, but you're not going to miss out on a whole heck of a lot. Hopefully this will go quick. Okay. Thanks for watching. So at this point, I'm just really using my Pit Artist pen in white. It was just to get rid of those little white spots. Not white spots, black spots. <laughs> now I'm using the black pen to just go over those areas that didn't stamp so well. Both are great pens. see as I'm coloring that I will hold up the pencils and they'll be upside down but I do list them at the end of the video so you'll know which colors they are but they're not listed by name like most of the time you'll see like geranium or poppy or something like that these are listed just by number so the lightest one is 1122104 and the darkest is 1122118 I also do use a white pastel pencil and that one is 1122101 and there's also an eraser pencil and that one is pretty fabulous as well. sure all you people who are wonderful colorers have a trick to coloring, like light to dark or whatever. 
I just went with what I thought was going to look best. You'll have to tell me whether you think it worked. They do blend incredibly, incredibly well. I know some people have used their fingers to get them to blend. I don't even know that that's necessary. I think they just blend incredibly well on their own. There you go, an upside down that fur. And the eraser does come in handy, like you see here, where I go a little bit outside the line, or when you drag your hand a little bit over the image, and it causes a little bit of blurring. You can use that for the fine detail white eraser. Ooh, I don't know what that was. Sorry about that. Now this is just a nib, I'm not, I think that's what they're called, um, and I'm just using that to blend the colors a little bit more precisely in some of the corner areas where the color didn't quite get in there. I think it's called a, oh, they're called a blending stump, I'm sorry. And it just worked really well to get into some of the areas that didn't quite get all the color that I wanted. Don't use them wet or anything, they're just used dry. And now I'm just using the banana gelato and a tangerine gelato and just a cheap old little plastic tray. And I'm using the stipple brush, smushing them together with a little bit of water. Getting a little bit more water in there and I'm just going to flick that over the card to create a nice little background. The reason I mixed the two colors is because I found the banana was just a little bit too bright, so I added a little bit of the tangerine color to just get it a little bit more of a, I guess, a darker, deeper color. Stamping my sentiment, which I just love, never ever forget. And I do heat emboss that as well. I did want to give the poppies a little bit extra dimension, so one of the things that I find is a really cool thing to do, I just used a really, really fine tip paintbrush, and I used the glaze textural accent, and I just went in over the little petals, and I kind of just painted it in on each of the petals, and then I'm just going to allow it to dry naturally, and it just creates a beautiful, beautiful effect on those petals. It's just really beautiful. I imagine that you could probably use a low heat um, embossing gun to, you know, maybe help it along a little bit, but it doesn't take very long to dry. So here's my finished card base. I just used a border punch on the polka dotted um, paper and just laid it on top of the chevron looking paper and um, put my finished card panel on top of that, tied some ribbon around it, a couple of sequins, and that's my finished card. I hope you all liked it and enjoyed 
watching me use these pastel pencils. I think they're pretty fabulous, and I hope you liked it too. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Bye.